Hello everyone. I am Dr. Neeti Rai Zada. I am director of Fortis Cancer Institute at Bangalore. I would like to discuss about a spectrum of disorders which are known as gastrointestinal cancers. Now, gastrointestinal cancer is a spectrum which includes esophageal cancer, that is the food pipe cancer, the gastric cancer, which is stomach. It could be small intestinal cancer, which has three parts, that is duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. It could be large intestine cancer, which is known as colonic cancer or it could be rectum and anus. This is one component which is known as luminal cancers. The other component is the hepatopancreaticobiliary system, which includes liver, the pancreas and the bile duct. So these are two specific areas which we deal with when we are talking about GI cancers. And this, if you put all of this together, happens to be the first five common causes of cancer, especially in our country. Again, esophagus and stomach cancer are also known to be associated with alcohol, tobacco or chronic gastritis or even chronic esophagitis or Barrett's esophagus. Colon cancer and rectal cancer also have very prevalent genetic causes. So they could be familial colonic cancer or they could be early uh, onset rectal cancer, which could have genetic links. So talking only about luminal cancers, well, esophagus is supposed to be technically a, a curable cancer and in which uh, it is divided into certain parts. It could be upper esophagus or cervical part or middle esophagus or the lower part. Based on that, we uh, try to do chemo radiation upfront for such patients in which chemotherapy is combined with radiation and given on a weekly basis. We try to do surgery for such patients wherever possible. And once we have surgical results, we decide whether any additional treatment is required or not. Now, gastric cancer again has uh, not just etiology which we can prevent like uh, alcohol or chronic gastritis or even tobacco, but they are also genetic linked to it. Certain parts of our country, like especially South India and even Northeast India, have a lot of prevalence of gastric cancer. Now, these cancers, again, depending on how small they are, whether it is spread locally or it is spread extensively, may require surgery, may require occasionally radiation, and most of them will require chemotherapy. And there's an important emerging role of biologic therapy and immunotherapy in such subsets. The next group of cancer is uh, intestinal cancer, and I'll try to focus on colon cancers. So colon cancer could be either right-sided colon or left-sided colon. And most of the time in early stages, we start with surgery and then follow it with chemotherapy. In an advanced stage colonic cancer, there might be role of immunotherapy or biologic therapy, which are targeted drugs. Rectal cancer, again, is a very interesting cancer in our subset in which a locally advanced rectal cancer or even uh, early, I mean, early rectal cancer locally advanced are curable subsets. And here we try to give chemo radiation upfront and then later on take up for surgery and subsequently some more chemotherapy.